Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggie. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm obviously introducing you guys to a new snake that I got. So yeah, that's, that's the video. Hopefully you came here to see a snake because that's what's happening today. So recently at an expo, I saw a snake that I freaking loved, a ball python, and I had to get it. So I did. And this was not an impulse buy, by the way. I have been wanting to get another ball python pretty much since I got my first ball python like five years ago. But there's just so many types of ball pythons. There's so many morphs, so many cool designs and colors. And it was just very hard to decide what exactly I wanted. And ball pythons can range from being $20 to being you know, $10,000. So obviously I wanted to wait until I found the right one. I needed to find a snake that spoke to me and I did at this expo. I have him here with me. His name is Tesla. And the reason why his name is Tesla is because in his design, I don't know if you guys are even gonna see it, but there's kind of like shapes that look like the letter T and I also just really, I really want a Tesla, but you know, being that I own so many animals, my wallet doesn't agree with me. So I named a snake Tesla. And as far as his morph goes, he is a VPI lesser exanthic ball python. Like I said, ball pythons come in a ton of different morphs and it can get very confusing. There's a lot that goes into breeding the different morphs of ball pythons. You need to know a lot about their genetics and it gets very complicated. So I'll try to break down what he is for you guys. I am by no means an expert in ball python morphs, but it's something that really interests me and I'm trying to learn more about it. So he, as you can see, is kind of like a black, white, gray color, and there's also brown in him. To break it down, he is a VPI exanthic ball python. So exanthic is a recessive color mutation it being a color mutation means that the exanthic mutation only affects the color of the ball python. So it doesn't affect the pattern at all. His pattern is pretty much the same as a regular ball python. The only thing that's affected by the exanthic mutation is the color. So another example of a color mutation that a lot of you guys are probably familiar with is albino. Albino is a recessive color mutation that takes away all of the dark pigments of a ball python, which will usually leave them with white and yellow. So with the exanthic color mutation, it takes away pretty much all of the red and the yellow pigments which leaves the ball python with black, white, gray, and brown colors. So different exanthic ball pythons will be different colors because it can kind of differ how much brown is showing as opposed to black, white, and gray. And as exanthic ball pythons grow older, a lot of the times more of the brown pigments start to come out. And also, like I said, he is a lesser ball python. Because he is a lesser ball python too, the pigment that's down the middle of his back is a lot more prominent than the pigment as it goes down. It kind of fades into a white. So regular exanthic ball pythons that don't have lesser in them won't have as much fading on the sides of the snake. So yeah, he is a VPI lesser exanthic ball python and he was $600, which a lot of you guys might think is crazy. It is kind of crazy. It's an expensive snake, but like I said, I didn't want to just buy any snake. To me, it's worth it. I haven't really seen exanthic ball pythons at expos very much at all, so at least not at my expo, I haven't really seen them. To me, it was just like a really cool ball python morph that I haven't really seen much of. Yeah, that is Tesla. And I actually got Tesla a little over a week ago. I waited to film this video because obviously I wanted to give him time to settle in his enclosure. And also he's right in my room. He is being quarantined in here. I don't have any other reptiles in my bedroom. And that's actually probably gonna be my next video is going to be about quarantining reptiles and how to do it and why it's important to quarantine. But yeah, I just wanted to give him time to settle in and get used to his quarantine enclosure. Now I guess we can cue the snake montage. 
the danger noodle montage, the, the spoopy noodle montage, the nope rope montage. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna stop. Let's cue the montage. So yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I post multiple videos a week with all of my danger noodles and other various animals. So if you would like to not miss out on an upload because they're so good and exciting, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on my notifications. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Snapchat. Those are linked down below. I need all the followers I can get, so make sure to follow me. I'll see you guys in my next video. And so will Tesla.